Today, we're going to be practicing your speaking and conversational skills by having a conversation, you and me. Some of you might already be familiar with this format of our videos, and I know that a lot of you like it. So do I. What is it going to look like? I have prepared a dialogue. One line is for me and the other one is for you. You will see them on the screen. I'm going to say my line and then you will read your line out loud on the screen. And that's going to be your response and then vice versa. The first line will be yours and the second mine. This exercise will give you already ready lines and answers to use in real life with other people and get you prepared to have conversations. In addition, you might pick up a phrase or two. If you don't want to watch the intro and would like to skip to the dialogue, you can click the timestamp on the video. Today we'll practice what's called making small talk or making conversation. People make small talk to engage in conversation about generally trivial things just to be polite or to avoid silence. It usually occurs between people who don't know each other but find themselves near each other in particular setting. For example, at a bus stop, on an elevator, in a line at a store, in a waiting room at a doctor's office, or maybe splitting an Uber ride. Or among parents who take their kids to the park. In my time in the United States, I've been approached a few times by other parents who have made small talk with me by simply asking things like, which one is your child? Or can you believe how nice it is outside today? Sometimes people are not open to small talk. Other times it's the perfect way to pass the time while waiting or hanging out around other people. It can lead to deeper, more meaningful conversation and can even be the beginning of some kind of relationship, be it personal or professional. Common topics for small talk are current events, sports, food, the immediate surroundings, any simple topic that is usually superficial in nature and easy to bring up to anyone. The most common topic for small talk, however, is the weather. With this in mind, in this video, we'll practice making small talk about the weather between two strangers who wound up sitting next to each other waiting for their flight at O'Hare Airport in Chicago. So are you leaving home or going home? I'm from here, the south suburbs, but I have cousins who live in San Diego and Los Angeles, so I'm going to visit them. All five of them over the next two weeks. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, we did get a bit of an unusual spell here the last few days. Although we do get changes like that fairly often. Not every day, but kind of often. But as they say around here, if you don't like the weather, wait a day. Oh, if millions of people somehow brave it, I'm sure you could too. The real treat is the change of seasons though. Fall is especially beautiful with the changing colors and mild temperatures. And although snow makes driving no picnic, the white Christmas you've probably heard about is very nice. There's a special kind of charm and romantic feeling about it. Likewise, have a safe trip back. And now we switch lines. The first one will be yours and the second mine. So now you start. Oh, I'm heading back home. I live in San Diego. I was just in Chicago for a family function. You? Oh, nice. Well, I can tell you, you will at least appreciate the Southern California weather. This stuff here, 
I don't know how you guys deal with it. I mean, one day it's 80 and the next it's 50? Come on. One day it's sunny and no wind and the next it's gray and raining sideways? Well, I don't think I could ever get used to that. Hmm, I can see that. Well, that's me. I'm boarding now. It was nice meeting you. You too. Enjoy the family and the weather. Take care. So, are you leaving home or going home? Oh, I'm heading back home. I live in San Diego. I was just in Chicago for a family function. You? I'm from here, the south suburbs, but I have cousins who live in San Diego and Los Angeles, so I'm gonna visit them all five of them over the next two weeks. Oh, nice. Well, I can tell you, you will at least appreciate the Southern California weather. This stuff here, I don't know how you guys deal with it. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. I mean, one day it's 80 and the next it's 50? Come on. One day it's sunny and no wind and the next it's gray and raining sideways? Yeah, we did get a bit of an unusual spell here the last few days. Although we do get changes like that fairly often. Not every day, but kind of often. But as they say around here, if you don't like the weather, wait a day. Well, I don't think I could ever get used to that. Oh, if millions of people somehow brave it, I'm sure you could too. The real treat is the change of seasons though. Fall is especially beautiful with the changing colors and mild temperatures. And although snow makes driving no picnic, the white Christmas you've probably heard about is very nice. There's a special kind of charm and romantic feeling about it. Hmm, I can see that. Well, that's me. I'm boarding now. It was nice meeting you. Likewise, have a safe trip back. You too. Enjoy the family and the weather. Take care. Okay, everyone, as usual, I hope you enjoyed the video. If that was the case, give this video a like, share it with your friends, and if you aren't subscribed yet but you enjoy our content, please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!